Today on The Dish, we're stepping into the kitchen with Mandy Flanders of Flandy's Fancy Creations. She's helping us give summer a lift with ideas on creative snacks, activities, and more. Plus, don't miss an amazing performance by the Yupang Band. It's all happening right here on The Dish with your host, Anna Christina. Hey everyone, welcome to The Dish. I'm your host, Anna Christina. Thank you so much for tuning in for another Friday. Listen, it's summertime and that means it's time to relax. But it also means that kiddos are out of school. They have a lot of extra time on their hand, hands. And if you're wondering what to do, well, don't worry. Because here to rescue us is Mandy Flanders Garrett from Flandy's Fancy Creations. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for having me. Yeah, so it's been a little bit since you've been on. And I thought about you. We were actually thinking about each other at the same time. It was weird. Yes, we were. <laughs> and then look at us. We show up matching. What? <laughs> Um, but you're going to help us with all the things I'm gonna for try. kids or family members to do and join in on the fun. I think the first step is creating We're gonna something make... fancy. Yes, <laughs> of course. <laughs> So tell me about okay. it. What are we going to do? Today we're going to make dirt cake. Okay. And this is a fantastic dessert that we can make with, um, with children. Okay. Um, you can do it with your parents, um, grandparents, whatever. You can yeah. make it fun even with your friends. Something easy to do, right, for the kids to get them involved. Absolutely. Keep them busy. <laughs> Absolutely. And there's, we're going to just show you different ways that you can display the dirt cake. Okay. And this is a finished one here. But well, and that's right. what I want to mention that. Can I brag about you a little bit? Sure. Because you are so awesome at what you do. Um, and I don't remember exactly how we discovered or I discovered you, but you actually were able to do Boston's uh, birthday party, his one year old birthday party. And you are just, you think of all the details and everything that you do is so beautiful. And I have to mention that, you know, the famous golf tournament, I don't know that we could say the name, but you were hired on by Nike to do their displays. So, I mean, they were just incredible. So I just want to give you a pat on the back. And if you're looking uh -huh, for you. someone to do this kind of stuff for you, parties or anything, she is the woman. Thank you. <laughs> there you go. Okay, so let's talk about so this dirt cake because I'm, I'm going to start okay. eating it all. Yes, you definitely want to eat some of this. So <laughs> the dirt cake is super simple. Mm -hmm. You just do, um, it's a cup of powdered sugar okay. and one stick of butter and one block of cream cheese. You're going to blend those um, and you're Together. just going to set those to the side. Okay. And then here um, you'll also have another bowl with um, pudding. Okay. And I just got this standard Jello pudding. Yeah, you'll want to use. <laughs> you'll want to use two boxes of these. Okay. And don't follow the directions on the back of the box. Just go ahead and do two boxes with three cups of milk. You're gonna whisk Mandy those. Mandy knows best. Yes. <laughs> It'll thicken up really nice. So you just have to kind of mix it together. You'll just once mix it's it together, yeah. and then nice and smooth. Nice and smooth, and we would have already um, put in the cream cheese okay. and that mixture in there. And then what you're going to want to so do... does that just make it thicker and nice and fluffy? It, it does. It just okay. gives it a nice consistency so rather than just the... So um, also putting this in there as well? Yes. Just fold in your whipped cream. When they get nice and dirty too, get it? Dirt cake. Yes. <laughs> oh, I have and bad jokes. Okay. <laughs> it's really nice too. Most people use the actual dirt. You'll want to definitely use this in a food processor. You most okay. know what a food processor looks like. Okay. Um, but this is just standard Oreo cookie okay. that we've used in the processor. So and you don't take out, I mean, you don't scrape the cream off. You leave it in there and just put them in the food processor? It, right. You just mix all the cookies. You'll just mix. This is a workout, y'all. <laughs> Look at that. It works your muscle for sure. <laughs> and you just fold in that whipped cream where it just blends in nicely and just has a good You texture. cover multiple things. So you are staying active, you're working out while you're making something for tea. <laughs> That's exactly right because you definitely want to eat lots of this. Okay. So one, once that's mixed, uh -huh. um, and you're going to do a beach theme. So Ooh, we used, um, we're going to do so some fun. sand. See, these are things that are so out of the box. Get it? Sandbox? Okay, anyways. Um, but so these are the ways. different styles of Oreos Ooh, okay. that you can do. So this one looks like sand, so we're going to use white. So I can just start putting yep. it in there. Can I use Dump, this? You my sure can. shovel? You sure okay. can. And, and how here, thick should the layer be? As thick as you want, okay. and then you'll just put in your 
pudding in there. And start layering it. And here, I'm just making one as a different example. Yeah. Just like if you have a you know family of four, you've got your own individual servings. That's so the, smart. The dirt is in there. And then you just dollop start in. layering it. Your... And I have to um, point out this one as well because that is so beautiful. Um, I don't know if you realize that this is actually not a vase. This is the dirt cake. There's worms in the middle of it and then you just dress it up with the succulents on the top. Exactly. And yeah. these are washable and it just yeah. makes it look pretty. Right. It's so cute. We like pretty. Well, we're going to, yes, exactly. We like fancy, right? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Fancier the better. Listen, well, I'm going to continue layering this. We're going to take a short break, but you guys don't go anywhere because when we come back, we're going to continue. We're going to showcase what we've done, and then we're going to move on to some crafts and things yes. for kids to do as well. Absolutely. We'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Do you know someone or something you'd like to see featured on The Dish? Go to thedishon6.com to submit your information by clicking on the Community Connection button. Also, tune in every Friday at 1230 for The Dish on All Things Local on WJBF. Hey everyone, welcome back to The Dish. I'm Anna and this is Mandy Flanders Garrett of Flandy's Fancy Creations. Thank you so much for being here. Thank now we you. just got done putting together a dirt cake. Now tell me about why you chose this cake. I chose the dirt cake. I, I think it's just super fun to do with kids. Um, I personally learned how to make it when I was a kid. Um, okay. We had an event at my church mm -hmm. and the dirt cake was actually displayed in a flower pot. Um, one of the terracotta pot, pots, mm -hmm. um, which you can um, still use that. Um, you'll want to be sure that you cook the terracotta pot okay. um, for at least two to three hours, but that's why I like to go plastic. It's a, yeah. li it's a little quicker. A little easier, and right, much to do easier. the process. That's well, and, and you, what I like about what you do is that you take what you've been inspired by and then you add to it. You've been so creative, right. like for example, taking you know, it's summertime. You think about the beach and using a different color Oreo as the sand to kind of, you know, fit with the theme of it. But being creative and using other things. Right. You have to think out know? of the box. You don't, right. you know, be your, do it the way you mm -hmm. want to do it and right. create. Here I've just used different um, contain, you know, you can do different containers with the right. succulents. And as the one that we showed here, um, where you can just have the individual servings. Aren't those the cutest things, y'all? Um, it's so cute. And then just pop in, you know, some cute little right. flowers. You know, just make it quick and easy. Well, let's talk about this candy right here because they uh, look like rocks. They are is, supposed to look like rocks, but they're edible. Right. They're so fun. <laughs> um, it's just rocks that it's chocolate. Yeah. You know, everybody loves chocolate. You're um, really messing with so, me right now, Mandy, because uh, uh, what do they say? You can eat on camera, but just don't make yourself look like a fool. Well, being pregnant, I'm like, okay, give me That's all right. Of you can always go chocolate, then some sour. But, yeah. you know, just have fun with it. Embellish it with with the candies. Kids love right. to... Uh, that to get. Be oh, yes. She made these just for me. I did. Because I'm having a girl, so they're pink and white, but they're chocolate. So That's you made right. these. Yes. Love it. So I can put them in here as well. And to look and then, like seashells. You know, even taking like, stuff like this and just adding it to it. Absolutely. And mm -hmm. you can also, for the gardening mm -hmm. ones, if you want to do that, you can use cute scoops for the gardening. Right. Um, Listen, are there, there sour worms? When you're pregnant, there's sour worms inside of your sand. And the frogs. <laughs> the frogs, the frogs are really cute, too, um, you that go. you can just add in there. Boston and would love that. That's right. And, you know, they're just so have fun cute. with it. You want right. to make it enjoyable time for the kids. Mm -hmm. Let them pick even the candies they might like if they don't particularly Well, the dessert like this, becomes a centerpiece almost. Absolutely. And it's beautiful. I mean, just look at this. This mm -hmm. can just go in the center of your table. Right. And that can be your focal point around the table. And no... You eat all, you have a clean, happy plate, mm -hmm. you get dessert. It serves two purposes, right? <laughs> so it's just decoration a display, and decoration, and it's edible. Hello, we love it. And I really like what you did here with this one because everybody gets their own, their individual. own individual one. And I know that dirt cake obviously can be a little bit messy, so putting it on a plate, but this is really cute and easy to do. Like we said, I mean, absolutely. Um, this is something that you can get involved doing with your kids and they'll have a lot of fun doing it. That's right. And Mandy, you always come up with such good ideas when it comes to 
just everything. I mean, you kind of think about it all, and I know I already said that and bragged about her, but there's just so much to brag about when it comes to you because you're so good at what you do. You. But you also, from this, you think of creative ways to do act other activities and different events, things that we have going on That's within right. the city, right? So coming up next, we're going to be doing something fun as well. That's right. What we're going to we are going to paint some rocks. You know, mm -hmm. that's popular around right. town, or people like to find. Um, rocks in different areas where you're exercising or walking yeah. around but yeah we're going to put those in a little display to make them look perhaps like a cactus right but we're going to have fun painting rocks and what those around town. I, I have to before we go i want to mention or want to give people an opportunity if they wanted to, to hire you because i'm sure they're like okay i need to get hold of this girl how do they get hold of you you can just find me on Facebook um, at Flandy's Fancy Creations. I'm on there, and I'm also on Instagram at Shop Flandy. And um, I'm very easy to get in touch very with. Very easy, and she is so fun to work with, and she's going to make sure that you're happy with everything. All right, you guys, don't go anywhere. We're going to have more of Mandy when we come back. Celebrating a birthday this month? Let us know by submitting on thedishon6.com. Welcome back to The Dish. We've had so much fun. Joining me on set is Mandy. She's been here working on some really arts and crafts desserts that look like arts and crafts. And speaking of, we're going to continue with that craft theme. Um, during the summertime, kids have a lot of extra time on their hand. And this is just something fun Absolutely. for them to be able to do and have access to, right? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Rocks are just, again, we've mentioned earlier that they've just gotten to be really popular around mm -hmm. town where you find rocks. Augusta rocks. Augusta rocks, <laughs> exactly. Not just any rocks. <laughs> um, but these are just painted to, you know, kind of resemble a cactus. I do have to thank the stone store in Watkinsville. Yeah. The gentleman there um, knew what we were doing and um, helped us get these rocks shout together. Shout out to you guys. Yes. Thank you. And speaking of shout outs, I have to do it. Your husband is in the house. He Cliff, is. Cliff, and he's so supportive of you. Hey. He is um, <laughs> wonderful help. Yes, he is. And then another shout out um, is to Ray Nell. Uh, I saw her while I was out shopping, and I told her that I would say hi. I don't know that she believed me, but hey, girl. <laughs> okay, so let's start the process on this. Um, yes. You actually painted these yourself. Absolutely. So I'm going to paint some of this um, as well. My husband actually um, paints some of these, and Ooh. his sister. Um, okay. You can make this a fun family event if right. you want to, of course. Um, but the terracotta pots, I just embellished those with some twine you can just hot glue those on and yeah. just twist around you can even use ribbon um, if you want to decorate them in that style that's so cute listen i'm not a painter either but i enjoy painting so much i think it's therapeutic it is very therapeutic it's so fun so hey guys if you're looking for a nice easy peaceful time then that's you can right. do this and the kids can get involved as well that is right listen the adults are going to be the ones doing this more I and can't paint like you. <laughs> that and I am by no means a painter, but this was super fun. And again, I love to embellish things. So yeah. these are just some um, felt on the front here, um, some little flowers that you can hot glue. Well, Make sure you get a hot glue gun. That's the best thing to, to use on to the use. rocks. Well, and, and these are so cute because while you're doing the, the craft itself, you can actually display them and then use them in your house right. as a, a decorative piece. Right, and, and I so, just use so sand easy. that you can pick up at your local hardware store. We yeah. found this at Lowe's. And then some rocks that you just want to sprinkle. Mine looks very cute, but yours we'll just go ahead and use yours. <laughs> and then put, we can put some rock, sand, then rocks, yeah. right? Yes, ma'am. And you just put it in there just and to then, display it. You do, um, when the paint dries on your rock, you just want to spray in with the clear enamel, and that okay. just helps seal it. Kind of um, make sure that the paint stays on. Absolutely. And it really just makes it look really pretty and shiny yeah. as well. Mandy, um, I've had so much fun with you, and I think these too. are such great ideas for kids and family, perfect summer activities. And while you're doing this activity, then you can eat your dessert That's at right. the same time, right? <laughs> that's All right, right guys. Right. You guys don't go anywhere. When we come back, we have a band that's going to be performing. I know you want to stick around for that. So don't go anywhere. Thanks so much, Mandy. Thank you. We'll be right back.